So in the last video we discussed the normal stage of aerobic glycolysis and in this video I just want to talk about anaerobic glycolysis just briefly so you have a good understanding. So the well a definition of anaerobic glycolysis is the metabolic breakdown of glucose in the absence of oxygen. So anaerobic basically means without air. So anaerobic glycolysis is when glucose is broken down without oxygen and this reaction step which we have here is actually aerobic glycolysis but I just want to focus on this reaction which we have here this is the reaction where glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate is converted into 1,3-bisphosphoglycerate and as you can see NAD plus is used to form NADH plus and this is catalyzed by glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate dehydrogenase. So this reaction here is quite important because uh, once glycolysis is finished and the following stages where pyruvate is then converted into acetyl-CoA and then acetyl-CoA enters the TCA cycle, there's actually several reactions which require NAD plus in order to basically take hydrogens and these are basically dehydrogenase reactions a bit similar to this this dehydrogenase reaction here so if there is limited amounts of this NAD plus then it means that there's less NAD pluses available in the TCA cycle so when it's a case of there's no oxygen or limited amounts of oxygen and the body still requires energy and the TCA, TCA cycle is still occurring the body needs to resynthesize as much NAD plus as possible so what happens is it uses pyruvate and it uses pyruvate and converts it into something known as lactate which is catalyzed by the enzyme lactate dehydrogenase and what this reaction does is in this direction it helps to resynthesize NAD plus and this can be used in the stages of the TCA cycle so the NAD plus is required in the TCA cycle in I think two or three steps but an example for one is the conversion of isocitrate to alpha ketoglutarate so just to confirm without oxygen there's limited amounts of NAD plus reduced uh, limited amounts of NAD plus produced so what the body needs to do is convert pyruvate into lactate to help rebalance the amount of NAD plus however if anaerobic glycolysis is prolonged it eventually leads to lactic acidosis where the blood becomes too acidic and this is this can eventually lead to death so usually it occurs I think from between 20 seconds to one or one or two minutes so it doesn't occur for the, a very long amount of time but afterwards aerobic glycolysis uh, carries on if the body is back into supply of oxygen so I've just touched on anaerobic glycolysis if you have any questions write them below and we'll do our best to get back to you thanks